Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lawanda, but you can call me Elle. And today I've decided to do a plan with me video in my Wonderland 222A5. One of the most complicated things that I found when using the Wonderland um, A5 is that there's not a lot of kits that are created to fit within the box. So one, I had to figure out a way to kind of manipulate current kits that I already have and new kits that I purchased. Um, so what you see me doing here on this Planner Kate kit is the big washi strips, and this is the sampler from Planner Kate. I kind of marked where I think um, it's an appropriate fit for the strip right up at the top. I can't explain what that is. I think it's like 0.4 mm's. Or, um, so I cut the strips down to fit over the date headers and then I can kind of replace it. And I actually make it a little bit taller where it takes like one block down on the grid as well and kind of just cover up the, the header. But I cut it that way. But when I applied it, I did not apply it that way because my intention was to cover up Election Day and um, Veterans Day because I had stickers for those. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to roll with it. We're here. Um, yes, I do use a box cutter. It's just so much simpler um, <laughs> than to try to use like a paper trimmer or scissors. I just, yeah, I can't. I, I just have to use what works for me. Um, so you'll see me kind of manipulating the kit to work. Um, if you've ever used the planner Kate sampler kit, you know that those washi strips have like a little curve, it's rounded corner. So I just wanted to kind of cut that off and make it a straight edge so it wouldn't um, stand out. My biggest conflict sometimes is if I am going to use the sticker, the days of the week stickers versus my own. Um, I do like a transparent sticker. However, um, at the end of this, I kind of wish I would have used the Planner Kate sticker date covers. Um, well, not date covers, but dates, days of the week, because it would have um, allowed me to move it up actually into the washi. The stickers that I make are always going to be transparent for the most part. Um, but the stickers on Planner Kate has the white background. But um, the reason why I chose not to use them at this time um, is because I'm going to be able to use this kit twice um, <laughs> because of how I cut the washi and not really using the dates and not using all the boxes. My intent is I'm going to make this kit work twice. So I always keep my date covers from previous kits from Planner Kate. Um, Monday was cricket, so I had to fix that. And I was trying to figure out like the extra numbers, like what do you do with them? So I, I just keep them in a basket and utilize them as needed. Um, and the ones that I purchased, again, the numbers were kind of small. The font was a little bit different. So I wanted to have something different there. So I just found these very old um, date covers. I think that is from the 2020 planner Kate formatted kit. So that's how long I keep them. But you know, it was this nice shade of blue that kind of worked with me. And you guys kind of bear with me. I'm kind of trying to get back into this video recording and everything. And it's it's kind of new territory to me. So um, uh, bear with me. I noticed that I was kind of every time my hand went across the book, um, it would focus on my hand. So I got to get my focus, my autofocus to work appropriately. But here we are. Um, so in my mind, what I try to work through is the bigger items um, or the bigger events or any event first. I want to make room for the events. And my process is if it's a date or um, a holiday, let's put that to the top or something like a birthday or something. I want that in the first section. Um, if it's something specific for that day, um, any other events I want it in the actual um, I guess block are in the day. So that's why I put my day off kind of below it and not before then, because I do take off veterans day, even though it's not a holiday for my company, I take it off because my husband is a veteran. 
and my brothers are veterans and I have a lot of family members that are veterans and I will pill up a sticker 18 million times if I have to, as you can see with the Veterans Day, because I wanted the rim of the red to show and I wanted to stick that heart on there somewhere. So um, if you are a veteran or you know a veteran, make sure you appreciate or give them some type of acknowledgement of the service that they did provide or currently are providing because it's a very selfless act to be um, part of our military services. So there's my spiel on that. So um, happy Veterans Day. And if you are a veteran, thank you for your services. Um, Wednesdays for me typically are very lax. Um, uh, I guess lax is an appropriate word. So I try to always use, if I have a um, decor sticker, that's probably where it's going to go on Wednesday because I don't try to do much on Wednesday. Um, it just works that way and I try to keep it <laughs> like that. Like um, I don't want to fill up my Wednesday because it just, I like that day to be kind of light and easy. However, on this particular Wednesday, we do have um, an event um, so again, that's my goal is to go through and kind of fix the events. Um, if you utilize a lot of stickers, um, excuse me, of washi to the top, and I'm going to show you a little bit later on, your planner is going to be kind of top heavy <laughs> and you'll see what I mean when I get to that. But, um, I, that's why I kept pressing down the washi tape. Um, and plus those stickers are very old. Um, but I wanted to keep pressing down the washi tape and the, the date headers because they, they seem to lift a little bit. Um, so Saturday, I do have an event. Um, so that's why I made space for that. But my son also has a baseball game and I'm trying to use the last five of those baseball game stickers, game day. So um, I made my own practice stickers, but I'm at the bottom of those stickers that I've made and I don't think I'm going to make any more. Um, I think our baseball time is coming to an end, but, um, we'll see, um, how this works, you know, going into sports season in January, but this season is definitely, you know, we're down to like three games. So my daughter is in chorus club and I always put a reminder down on Monday that I need to <laughs> pick her up from school because <laughs> she has chorus club. Um, so that's me making sure that the chorus club stickers are there because she has two rehearsals on Monday and Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, they're actually doing their Veterans Day program. Let's see. I don't think there's much. So we're just going to kind of watch. Um, Mill Ideas, that's a sticker of mine. Um, I like to, I'm not very good at mill planning. Um, but I do like to at least have an idea of mills that I can make. Um, that helps a lot. Um, as you can see on the back, I have like a little tab for mill ideas and that's what I'm going to kind of cross reference and just do things that I know that are quick, easy, and that people eat because <laughs> it's, it's nothing worse than making something and no one eats it. Like, <laughs> My heart hurts when that happens. Oh my God, that practice sticker on Thursday is crooked. I hope that's one that I fix. But um, I kind of use the bottom portion of the planner as like, um, what are those called? Um, kind of like a this week. Um, I forgot the actual term for it, but I kind of use it like a this week since, you know, there's only so many columns and here's where I'm showing you like it's very thick at the top and very thin at the bottom but that's because I'm always putting washi at the top so just be mindful of that um, but nevertheless I use the bottom portion as of this week so that's why I have my mail ideas people I need to call um, things for the weekend and that's how I find a way to use my weekend banner sticker um, because how the columns are set up with there only being three and the weekend stacked on top of each other, it just makes it kind of complicated to use a weekend sticker. Um, so like I said, Monday, Tuesday, my daughter has chorus club pickup and then they have their performance on Wednesday. Um, she also has piano practice 
um, virtually on Mondays and yeah. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my son has baseball practice. So I'm always trying to remember if his practice is a fielding practice or batting cage, because that tells me how long I can leave him up there. <laughs> and then, um, like I said, the program, I always refer back to my monthly because I put everything on my monthly that I need to remember. My mind, it's not that great this time. So you know, I have to write it all down, hence why I am a planner girl and digital is not completely working for me. I did try digital in the month of May. Um, as you can see, I am back in my, <laughs> in my planner. It just didn't work out. And as I was going through this, I was remembering things later. So I kind of had to reposition a couple things um, later on. But um, for example, I do have a hair appointment <laughs> on Friday and that's an event and I should have remembered that. So, um, but I don't remember exactly if it's 10 or 10 30 and I didn't write it down. So I just said 10 <laughs> and I'll figure that out later. Um, I'll go back and check what time that actually is. And then also Friday, because there's no school, I, um, I wanted to take the kids to the movies. So we're going to the movies Saturday. We're doing a birthday party. It is a masquerade theme. So I use that, um, particular sticker because she's wearing blue and it's 50 shades of blue. Um, and my hair is in locks, of course, but, um, it's also a masquerade theme, um, party. So I just wanted to remember that, um, I make note of it that, you know, what I'm wearing is the color blue and it is a masquerade theme. And it's kind of a date night because surprising to me, my husband is coming with me. Normally he doesn't do parties <laughs> or events that I kind of go to, but he's coming as well. So, um, I guess it'll be interesting of how that works out. Um, also on Fridays, um, this particular Friday, so it is a second Friday, we have food trucks in our neighborhood. So that means I'm probably not cooking dinner on that Friday. Um, we're doing food trucks and I did fix the sticker. Yay me. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, I don't think much is going on Thursday. I just wanted to remind myself to check parent view, um, to check my kids' grades. Bainley is the teenager. Um, I have to watch him. Sometimes he does what he's supposed to do. Sometimes he waits to the last minute. So I don't know where he gets that from, but it's very interesting. So you have to kind of stay on him. And then these are just my typical check items that I want to do in the beginning of the morning. So I have my AM routine and then I want to make sure I take my fiber. Um, but I take my fiber normally on an empty stomach as soon as I wake up. And then that about two hours later, I'll take my vitamins because um, most fiber supplements, um, you shouldn't take medicine or any vitamins or anything within that time frame, like two hour time frame. So if you didn't know that now, you know. And this is basically just it. Um, everything else is just kind of ramble at this point. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you like the content so far that you've seen here, consider subscribing to my channel and we can get through some of the hard parts of life together. I don't know. I just really enjoy planning. Um, until next video, you guys take care.